Hello YouTube and welcome to Groundworks Plays Transport Fever. First of all, Happy New Year. I know that uh, uh, at the time of recording it's already 12th of January, but this is actually the first video that I have successfully recorded after I have gotten back from the, my vacation. Uh, yeah, I will be posting a short teaser on that a little bit later. Been, uh, I've been away two weeks on Seychelles, enjoying a little bit of sun and warmth and everything. And I will be creating maybe a full-on location video, but I will be probably posting that on a separate channel because I'll create a new channel for the travel tips. When I, so when I travel, I do some location shooting and some tips for travel going there. But, yes, uh, so... We are back in Transport Fever and we are following the, the Grumpf Works ship Veruk that is uh, going from Miami. And as I announced, I fully intend to actually devote a little bit love to Miami. But I'm not sure that I will do a full on rail line that will be going uh, Boston to Miami. And why, you may ask? Because a lot of the rail lines are changing at the latest stop. So I do want the frequency of the train coming to Miami to be a bit more frequent than the rest. Oh, and there's the red ugly text. I always, devs, I would really like, for example, if I have disabled this, that this remains disabled. I don't think that would be a big change now, would it? Now, here we have a Miami train station and here as you can see we have a train accelerating it's hauling a general I believe and it's hauling things all the way up our regular cargo line yes so what I'm thinking about at the moment is actually uh, okay, this. Uh, let's just briefly inspect how it works. How many people? We have a lot of people waiting. So an express line would actually be kind of cool to have, but I'm a little bit worried that uh, might not work as well as I'm expecting it to. Okay. Oh, these look like very slow. 42 kilometers an hour. Hmm. Yeah. Also, uh, just a word of note, if I want to really go to Miami, I would need a whole new train. That would be kind of expensive. So I'm thinking I will construct a new rail line that will be going here for sure. Let's just for the time being while I'm pontificating and considering what to do, let me just quickly uh, repay some of the cash down and uh, let's take a look at the map we have serious oil delivery stuff here happening and that one is being delivered by our wonderful train that we have introduced in the previous episode running by a mogul steam locomotive I just love that model. Look at it, how it chugs away. It's just dang gorgeous. Look at this. I know I showed it in a previous episode, but for me, guys, this has been a long time since I recorded this. So, bear with me a little bit. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. Uh, I will be doubling up here because the deliveries from here do bring us a lot of cash. Uh, there is some food that needs to be delivered and the thing is I do want to expand my rail network to Miami so the question would be should I just expand from here Boston all the way down or I should start introducing a new train that should hopefully be a little bit faster and then so we start replacing all the trains that are on Boston Washington DC line with something more modern yeah I'm not exactly sure we are at a year 1900 
So I think we should soon be getting the other locomotives as well. And I'm thinking the 1902 we should get Atlantic. And that one is actually with a top speed of 100 kilometers per hour. That would be an ideal express train. So leaving these slow buggers remain, but then introduce a bigger, longer and uh, more expensive trains. How much would that actually cost to? Let's see if we can replace a single vehicle. How much would a train cost? So replacement, not the consolidation. Ah, yeah, we don't have yet the Atlantic. And we have six axle cars with a pass capacity of 18. So if I say one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we put six cars, that would be roughly of 4.73 million per vehicle. Oh, that's. <laughs> That's a bit steep, ain't it? But then it drives twice as fast. So maybe I instead of four, I would need just two. So instead of one, two, three, four, five trains, I could get away with three, maybe. Hmm. And these have four, so that's a capacity of 56. If I could get that capacity up to, let's say, 70. So if I run with five, that should be fine. In theory. So far they have been making me good money because um, for the most part, these trains are cheap. I'm almost leaning towards a single Atlantic when it comes and getting it here or not. Is this mogul actually making us money? That's the real question I would say. Oh yes, and a healthy chunk. Some 270k per year. Da decent, very decent. And you, Sunshine, you're also hauling fuel. You are making us half a million. Is it because of the capacity? How much you carry? 77, while you carry 63. Yeah. So you could actually use additional. I think this one even has the older wagons than the other one. If we just compare, let's see. No, the wagons seem to be the same. Okay. Well, at least they're both going in the same direction and providing oil, which is fantastic. How is New Orleans supplied with oil? It's fantastic. Okay, great. Glad to hear it. That means that there's plenty of oil going to different cities okay why not you are the bureau transporting the oil and you sunshine are what panzergraf also transporting the oil 150 versus you Baruk, 60. huh the vehicles Eight years. I will let you to run for the time being. All right. Fine. So our trains have been accumulating a little bit of money, and uh, I'm actually thinking I will be running here with an. Uh, You see, that's the problem. This one won't be profitable for a quite a while to come. So 
So ultimately I would like to reroute one of the older trains coming here to the new line and then start introducing newer trains in the main line because those would make more sense. What's the age on you? 21 years. What's the age on you? 21 years. Yeah, you're quite old. Right, okay, so how do I tackle this? Once you come and unload, you will be going on the new line that we have, or we don't have yet, but we will have, which will be Atlanta non-stop to Miami. Looks about right. And Atlanta, you're coming on entirely new track, which I guess makes perfect sense. So this would be Miami, Atlanta. And this is not Boston to Washington DC, but it's Boston to ATL, Boston to Atlanta. Yes, thank you. So you are red or blue, you should go yellow. Perfect. And then we'll transfer a train on you as soon as it arrives. So I think it would be actually easier if I make sure that this train Instead of taking this track when Atlanta, it takes the terminal uh, four. Is it? Is it four or is it? No, terminal, th not four, terminal three. And then the train going to Atlanta should also start from Terminal 3. That's MIA ATL. You should also start from Terminal 3, please. Yes. Perfect. And that should hopefully allow me to change you right away. Then we change later assignments, but... So the moment you get the cha-ching. There you go. And you're going to Miami, Atlanta. Perfect. So here you, instead of Atlanta Terminal 3, you will be going to Terminal 4, rather. Perfect. Okay, that fixes the assignments and that also means that we get to ride our very old and, and pretty ancient train, but we get to ride it to Miami. Ain't that something? As I saw that you guys were mentioning, you like ride-alongs. So, ride-alongs it is. We are riding along to Miami. Let's ride along, shall we? Actually, the view here there is kind of barren, so let's just crank the speed a little bit because we are used to running at semi-decent speed. And there is some money to be generated during the same time, which is actually fantastic because that will give me the money to uh, by the time we get to the 1902, I will be able to get a brand new Atlantic on that line. So, hopefully that will serve the purpose well. There we go. Chugga chugga. We are still riding the, our trusty general over here. And uh, 
given the fact that these uh, wagons are now a rust bucket, I think it's time for an overhaul. So, it's happening, guys. It's gonna happen. I just think it's kind of important that we also, you know, start supplying the full line, you know, Miami to the to everywhere. So this is just a starter to uh, get the Miami rolling and make sure that it has some traffic and something to say. And then we will be look at that more vehicles and we have now the steam lorries which is wonderful which we introduced in the previous episode i guess so we can actually now enjoy steam lorries the time of the horse and cart has passed and look at those we have the cars there coming as well all right coming up on the train signal going through the diamond crossing and straight into the miami train station for the first time that's an ugly bump there we go first and uh, now in the spirit of the transport tycoon you would have a news title saying news flash first try train arrives in miami the crowd cheers. So yeah. Right. Repaying stuff. Because we can. And uh, that should start hopefully kickstart a new line. I'm hoping that at least there will be some people going to Miami. I think it needs to go back and forth at least one time. While at the same time we will be plotting to introduce a brand new train um i should maybe crank up the turbos a little bit at least to get to the point where i could be getting that atlantic i really want it it's brand new it's shiny and we are now starting to generate decent enough amounts of cash so cash should hopefully not be a problem that much any longer so buying trains six axles 18 compared to 14 it's not that much size wise but price wise it's terrible it's like four times i remember have to remember that i need a roughly a four million So let's just, while we are waiting for the millennia to happen, we are out of that once again, but that will be, you know me, it will be very, very short-lived. And look at that, the tanker is also leaving station. That's wonderful. Hold on, we could actually help the AI with the development. How about, look at this. A brand new medium street overlooking the rail cart. No, non medium street. Let's go with a tiny street, shall we? There you go. Now, onwards, build. I still don't get the bump here. Why did it need to go this low? But okay. It said so, so we're gonna trust it. So, May. This is a little bit slower episode because um, I'm sorry for that, guys, but I'm trying to remember myself what the hell was I doing. Yeah, clearly we have here a situation our moguls are it's waiting for a free path no it's not it's 31 capacity and it's taking it back And I'm assuming it's delivering it here. So, and this is uh, delivering it to industrial area, right? 
Yeah, exactly. So you should be well satisfied in terms of fuel, 100%. Oh boy, oh boy. So what I'm actually needing is that this train has more wagons, simply put. But I would say fuel distribution is satisfactory. It's the passenger distribution that I want to emphasize. And uh, here from Atlanta you will be going further to New Orleans, while from Washington we could be going towards Cincinnati and others. From New York it would be a little bit harder sell. So no, Washington would be basically going here, Toronto and maybe Detroit and then onwards to Cincinnati, St. Louis and whatnot. I think we'll be connecting it something like that. Right, come on, I'm just waiting for the new year to happen. Come on guys, hit it, will ya? And I do want some cash because I'm greedy bastard who wants to introduce the newest and the latest and greatest Atlantic. Four four two Atlantic. Yeah. Should be in January. 1902 right let's just quickly while we're looking at it see how is our Boston Brick distribution, we have lots of bricks. Will they get delivered by the time? Oh, look at that. New York is a really bustling metropolis. It would be so interesting to see the new fast locomotive service going from New York. And I should introduce it at somewhere here uh, over at New York. So let's see how is our train dis distribution. There's one, two, three, four. Yeah, they space themselves out. Good. So I should definitely make the trains longer and faster so because Boston Atlanta it's six minutes frequency Miami Atlanta it's nine minutes frequency then if I move one more and introduce one bigger train that should cover it I hope Miami Atlanta is still generating losses obviously because yeah we don't have that many passengers but that's okay it is to be expected. This rail line is only be as successful as the vehicles riding it, so we do really need a new locomotive here. And I have a feeling it will be coming very, very soon. Well, it's not as much as a feeling as uh, as a matter of simple matter of passage of time so I'm not overly concerned there we go 442 Atlantic now hold the press will ya what do we have we have one train here okay we have another train let's just see the snapshot another train coming back another train coming down and there should be another train somewhere near here ish kinda here no that's the no it is Boston Atlantic okay Boston to Atlanta right so 
what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna replace this one. Let me just put a placeholder so I don't forget. And now let's design the brand new shiny. 442 Atlantic, 1.73 million. Uh, this is be gonna cost us an arm and a leg. Atlantic, but we're doing it, I don't care. Costs be damned. Error, not enough money. How much would you have? Four times, that's around 80 minus eight, eight, 72 passengers. No, we want one more at least. One more at least. Yeah, there we go. And you, Sunshine, you are going on Boston to Atlanta. So let's now go and admire this wonderful beast that we are about to unleash. Hold on. Train six, I'm gonna be putting it here. Actually train five, I have to remember to sort of, not exactly retire, but uh, yeah. Okay. Train six. Look at it. And I actually wanted to stick with a default color because I think that works magnificent with this setup. It's just dang gorgeous. While we're working here, we might as well repay a little bit of the loan. Look at that, look at that engine. Oh, autosave. I think this is a screenshot for the episode, definitely. And then things start to come into the view. Look at this. Uh, speaking of that, I'll have to modernize this bridge because this bridge will no longer allow speeds past 40. So that's something to be considered. But we really do want to see and experience the rush of the Atlantic as it travels along. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Come on, everybody, climb aboard. Riding the new Atlantic. I'm hoping that we are having a full load. Oh, yes, full load of 90. That's just amazing. Like we said, right along, look at this. The past and the future. Welcome to the completely new era of travel. There we go. Beautiful. Let's turn a little bit of a perspective on this. Uh, look at the train as it cuts through the countryside. I think uh, our first Stop is Washington DC. Then it should be Atlanta and then back. But it's perfectly capable. It's going at 57 kilometers an hour. I'm trying to figure out why. Maybe it's hauling too much. But I mean, power wise, it should have plenty of power to haul more. So I don't, I'm not buying it. It is accelerating though.
By the time it reaches next station it will definitely be going faster than any train has gone before here. So let's just repay, continue repaying a little bit of the loan. There we go. And we have a ferret coming in. Isn't that beautiful? Lots of passengers coming in and I'm hoping it will make me a metric crap ton of cash. Oh! Oh, what is this? Huh? Blasphemy! Washington DC commuter. You are still using... Oh, no, 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 no. Replacement. Mac. Replace now. Yes. I don't have enough money. Well, that's because I just returned it. So replace now, please. Yes. Thank you. I'm sorry, I really couldn't tolerate watching that. And we're going on the separate track. Onwards and upwards. Oh boy, this is this is painful. There we go. And fortunately enough, we are generating enough cash to be able to sustain this. So I'm hoping that this uh, train will be still profitable despite its horrendous co upfront costs. We shall see. Details, finances. So far, the income doesn't justify the running costs, but I think it's full all the time, so it should eventually, and it is faster, it's just not that much faster as I expected it to be. I expected a hundred. And according to all rules, it should be able to go up to 100, so it's just that it's slow at acceleration, probably be due to the volume of cars that it's hauling, so it could be that. Yeah, it's going, it's slowly climbing, 72, 71, you know. And then we're gonna be passing the older train, which would be the general. Come on, we should be going at ludicrous speed compared to it. That is an aging vehicle. We are coming to Atlanta, 82 kilometers an hour. Now we're slowing down a bit. And we're coming on our own track. Perfect. Now that's a very nice ride along. Now, sp speaking of that, that's the train six. I'm expecting the train 5 should be lagging behind. It is still collecting the passengers, so that's good. But that it that train will get reassigned sooner rather than later. So let's just crank up the speed a little bit. Boston Atlanta 56. Will you be full then? You are perfect. How is the queuing theory here? Only one person waiting. So if I transfer one more train, 
Well, that won't exactly help our case now, would it? However, the newer train has the double capacity, so in theory it should be making us quite a significant chunk of cash. Yeah, you see, it's almost paying itself, so I'm also interested to see how much does the full load pay. I haven't seen it, so... I mean, it's fast, so it, at longer stretches it should pay more. Yeah, I'm eager to see how much it will make now when it comes to Atlanta. Or, no, sorry, this is Washington DC. If this one comes to Atlanta first, I'll have to reassign it. Now it's a race between train 5 and train 6. I think the train 5 will come just a smidge earlier. It will. Because it's already pulling into the station. At which point, as soon as I get paid, it gets reassigned. 147k. Perfect. And you, Sunshine, how much are you gonna get me paid? You should pay me a little bit more, I think. One hundred and twelve k. I don't get it. Repay. Oh, and that's a train four. So you're going immediately after a train four. This is gonna disrupt my lines a bit. 3.50 million in debt. So now we have two trains running on this line, hopefully. Are we? Train five, train three waiting for a free path. Why are you waiting for a free path? Ah, because this one just left, okay. Okay, okay, fair enough. You can actually bend them stop until this one comes to a final location, so we spread them out a little bit. I did just create a little bit of chaos there. I'm thinking it would be much better if I did not, but... Well, you know you, you know, you have to mix it up a little bit. Now... I'm really hoping that this becomes profitable. Come on, give me green. I think the distances are a little bit far. I think we should replace other vehicles with this guys. Where are you? Are you close to Miami already? Come on. Turbos, man, turbos. It's so close to start making me money. Okay, so this guy, when he comes to Miami... I'm launching train three. There it goes. Train three to Miami is ready and roaring to go.
Yeah, you see, this is the problem. It's starting to wait for a free path. It's now at Boston. And there's another train that just left, I'm assuming. Yes, it's this one. Hold on. You. Back to the depot. I have to replace you. Or retire you, rather. I know, I know, I'm wasting cash, but... You're stopping my faster train, so... Did you sell yourself or not? The depot. Sell yourself, please. Thank you. So... That would give me some cash, or some more cash. To buy another one of these. Have a bigger capacity. So that's five cars on it. I'm starting to wonder if I'm making a mistake here, but. We have to experiment. Buy trains. Borrow. Buy. One, two, three. <laughs> I need one more for... Okay, so train six is barely making cash. Come on, I need one more train to deliver to buy this ax six axle. Come on. I did made it. Okay, perfect. Boston to Atlanta, get out of there. Get to work. So I'm hoping you will help to serve the capacity. much nicer by the time you get there oh this one is already coming back that's wonderful so how many trains I do have on this line at the moment vehicles four so I should be able to get away with three of them I'm hoping that would put the frequency a little bit at risk so it's currently at five minutes if I kill off one more train you go to the depot and sell yourself please Thank you, and you also, please go to the depot and sell yourself. So you, let's max it. Buy trains, Atlantic, 6 x oh, oh wait, we have to buy Atlantic first, and then we take the 6 x one, two, three, Four, five. Come on, we're not enough money. Borrow more. And off you go. Get to work. Hopefully, 
I have not just completely wasted us with this endeavor. We have a lot of things making us money, so I'm hoping that this will also continue to be the case. Look at how many vehicles are going between these two towns. Oh, how much glorious money I would be making if I was to... 83 out of 90. So you, sunshine, could actually wait a little bit. So where is this? This train is at Washington. This train is already getting back. So the time this train reaches Washington-ish, I'm going to be starting again this train. I'm thinking something along, or along these lines, come on. You fill up and then you start. Perfect. That means that we have successfully modernized our, our line with a whole brand new Atlantics and I'm thinking that is actually a good thing because older trains would have been stopping the passenger flow. This way we have now brand new lines and I'm hoping that the line will be profitable despite the fact that it's I'm slightly concerned. because of the distances and this line to Miami is not at all profitable. Oh, it actually is profitable. Not since I introduced the second train though. Well, it serves as a hub just to get things rolling. So I'm thinking probably guys in the next episode, what I plan to do beside repaying a lot of the loan that I'm using I'm actually thinking of starting to connect other cities in the US and I'm thinking about perhaps, let me see, from here onwards, Cincinnati, Cincinnati, St. Louis, and then perhaps Kansas City. While this to Atlanta will be going then further or via New Orleans on another route, I'm guessing, to Houston and onwards. But this part is actually pretty well connected. This part we are still developing with just the basic wood industry. Don't tell me that we are still using horse and cart here because I will be severely surprised. Oh, we are. Wonderful. In that case, I think that you guys are well due for a worthy replacement of steam lorry. Effective immediately. Yes, thank you. I think that will jack up the production here a little bit. And I do want to connect San Francisco, Seattle, San Francisco, LA, and then maybe Phoenix, El Paso towards Houston. So we will have a giant line. Probably all the lines will be meeting somewhere at Houston, perhaps. I guess it's a good point for the meetup. And then we have the goods lines that will be going Denver and then through the Rockies. Well, that's the plan anyway. I'm not, I haven't decided on anything yet. Let me just see the passenger situation. Yeah, it seems more promising as these guys are able to pick up and, you know, deliver stuff. I just love this Western music. It's awesome. Okay, guys, and with these two passing trains delivering the future all in the locomotion, I will be saying you thank you very much for watching. Like if you like, there will be more good stuff coming. But until then, thank you very much for watching. This is Gromforks signing off from somewhere on the train going to Atlanta.